Tomorrow marks 80 years since Allied troops landed on the beaches of Normandy to confront Nazi soldiers, an event known as D-Day. The remarkable feat is considered the largest land, air, and sea assault in world history. It took over a year to plan the Operation Overlord, which was the plan that started with the Normandy landings and ended with the liberation of France from German control. Now, more than 156,000 men were deployed to France, and that includes approximately 18,000 paratroopers who dropped over German lines just hours before ground troops arrived to secure critical sites. And on D-Day, soldiers from 12 different nations were all working together, a rare feat in military history for a single operation. Some were allied forces like the U.S. and U.K., while resistance fighters from occupied nations like France and Czechoslovakia also joined the efforts. And the sheer amount of military equipment involved in D-Day obviously created logistical hurdles. According to the U.S. Department of Defense, there were about 11,500 aircraft assisting the ground troops that day, and some delivered paratroopers over their targets, while others took bombing runs over German factories and supply lines. And the actual delivery of those ground troop soldiers took more than 6,900 ships, the majority of which were British. And some of those boats were part of a diversion effort to make the Germans believe that the invasion was actually happening miles away in Pas de Calais instead of in Normandy. Now, D-Day was a major victory for the Allies, but it came at a hefty cost. 4,426 Allied soldiers, about half of whom were Americans, died during the invasion. And those soldiers' sacrifices and the efforts of other Allied soldiers resulted in the U.S. gaining a foothold in France that would be critical for liberating Europe.